Well, hello there again. <laughs> we had to make a long and treacherous journey to get here, I tell you. But I can gladly say that I'm Jonathan Tackett. And I'm Macy Tinker. And this is finally Hot, Hot Topics. Topics. <laughs> okay, Jonathan, let's hear from you first. All right, I'm going to start us off with some sad news. Uh -huh. um, so we've lost two phenomenal individuals mm -hmm. um, this past these past few weeks. Um, Arlie Ermey, uh, okay. he was a famous Marine. He's one of my favorite actors who was in the military. Uh, and Barbara Bush, right. um, who was the former first lady. Um, and it, it's like, I can't believe that, you know, these people are gone because, you know, uh, Arlie Ermey, phenomenal, like he, he was a phenomenal guy, uh, really popular with the Marines. Um, phenomenal actor in my opinion um he he starred in he he, he served in a uh, a lot of movies as mm -hmm. well as the military um but like one of his most recognized roles was in full metal jacket yeah. don't watch that with your kids um <laughs> if you ever decide to watch it um but he was like this drill sergeant and he like ad-libbed all these lines yeah and man he just like ripped into these guys <laughs> it, it's kind of funny but it's also very inappropriate so like i said if you ever uh, if you want to check out something by Arlie Ermey, uh, look up Full Metal Jacket or Toy Story. You know, maybe yeah. that's more kid friendly because he, he voiced one of the little toy soldiers. But anyways, moving on to not so sad news. Um, Super Troopers 2, I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't see the first one. But the second one, the, what I think is absolutely cool about this one, completely crowdfunded. Okay. Not a dime from Hollywood, to my understanding. Um, it's coming out this Friday, and it is about a, uh, it is about some state troopers um, who it's, it's a comedy film, uh, just like set like on the border between Canada and America. Mm -hmm. And from what I've heard, it's pretty hilarious. Um, but you know, I I think what I think is pretty phenomenal is that the whole thing was crowdfunded, so not you know, people paid to see this film. Right. Um, which says something about the film itself. Although I will admit it did get a 40 on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I did my research, <laughs> but you know, uh, sometimes that's just where the fans uh, opinion, you know, overrides the critics. Right. Um, and moving on from movies, let's go a little bit closer to home. Studying for finals. Right. Finals week is almost upon us. We're almost at the last week of classes. Don't know how we've made it here so quickly this semester. Golly, it has gone man. by fast for sure. It is absolutely like, it just blows my mind because it just seems like we just started, you know. It does. Just like yesterday, and then now we're approaching the end, we're approaching these finals and stuff. Um, we actually do have a vol on the street. Um, our resident vol on the street, Mara, um, has actually gave us some helpful tips on where to go when we need uh, some help studying or, you know, just need to study in general. Yeah. So let's take a look at that. <laughs> maybe we're not showing okay. it today. Okay, maybe we're not showing it. Maybe you, take a look at it on YouTube. It will be on YouTube. It will be on YouTube. <laughs> For sure. Okay. So uh, that's important because I know I'm drowning in assignments and tests and... False alarm. I'm nervous. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, actually, <laughs> um, we're actually about to watch the vol on the street. We're having a lot of... Um, you see, the finals are really getting to us, and <laughs> you know, I have not taken my nap today. Right. Um, you know, that's just how it is. <laughs> so, you know, j just my own, like, on my own, I, I literally prepare for finals by napping. Um, mm -hmm. But anyways, let's get to the ball in the street. So that should help uh, give a little insight on where you should go, like when you need to study and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And as, as as I was saying before, naps, naps, <laughs> naps, naps really you help. Talk about naps. I, I'm I'm being serious. Like um, they really help uh, if you take a good power nap. Mm -hmm. uh, I think 20, I think 15 to 20 minutes is the optimum time. 
that really helps you get a boost like if you're you know doing that late night studying or you know you could be like me and just sleep for three hours because you know you're you're just tired <laughs> <laughs> you know in the middle of the day yeah. but anyways that's the end of my stuff let's go to yours Macy. all right let's move into my hot topics of the day so Coachella just happened and it blew everybody's mind the main thing that blew everybody's mind was Beyonce bringing back Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. Ooh. Destiny's Child. Do you know mm. Destiny's Child, Jonathan? I'll admit I do not. Because I well, you're going to have to look them up. You're going to have to look at that oh, yeah. performance. Apparently, you could live stream Coachella on YouTube, which I did not know about, but someone should have told me because I wanted to see all of it. <laughs> but, however, that was really cool, so you need to check that out for sure. Also, Cardi B was at Coachella, pregnant as ever. <laughs> making a statement for women in music everywhere with Kalani they sang my favorite song ring and wow I just love it my favorite song of the moment um also yodel boy Mason Ramsey was at Coachella and oh, got to wow. perform it was so cool I know goes, that guy. yeah yeah <laughs> we've heard of him before we've talked about him a couple times but um yeah and he met Justin Bieber that video is flying around the web right now so I'd love to be in his shoes, or maybe his boots. Hi, hey. <laughs> that was totally a Jonathan Tackett that's, that's usually so. my, that's my job, basically. Right, I mean, no, you're rubbing off on me. Uh, I guess I'm I, rubbing I, off I, on you about Taylor Swift, you know, too, right? I'm, I've been humming T-Swift more and more often. Like, I'll just yeah. find myself humming T-Swift. I hope so. You better be. Also, What's Ariana up? Grande is dropping a new song tonight. We think it's going to be called No Tears Left to Cry, because that's what she's been wearing on all of her sweatshirts. She's been posting it on Instagram, on Twitter. I'm definitely keeping an eye out for that. It should be emotional, definitely, because of her uh, concert in Manchester. You remember that happening? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's huge. I, yeah. So it should be super emotional. Um, I, I'm eager to see what it is. Dropping at midnight tonight, so maybe stay up a little late for it. <laughs> or early, if that's early for some people. Who am I kidding? I wish they had played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, have to talk about my girl, Taylor Swift. There's Taylor been Swift. more drama about her. Oh, no. At her Beverly Hills home. Actually, a stalker was arrested outside. Um, he apparently had a knife in his car, also had drugs in his car. That really worries me, but Taylor was not there. Thank <sighs> goodness. Taylor Swift has just been getting... She, it's been dramatic in Taylor Swift's <laughs> life lately. She's been getting some strange company, I know. that's for sure. I know. Um, so yeah, Taylor Swift, this guy seems crazy. His name is Julius Sandrock. So. Julius Sandrock. Yeah. Uh, you, well. I feel like Jonathan's trying to think of a joke I'm, right I'm now. trying, well, this I'm not trying to think. I was, I know plenty of Juliuses. I don't know any Sandrocks, but <laughs> in this situation, that may not be a bad thing. So However, thank goodness she was not there in Beverly Hills. It just seems like, you know, it just seems like these celebrities, you know, folks are always trying to do something to get their, you know, like, uh, a few weeks ago, we talked about the guy, you know, who um, robbed the bank over. and threw yeah. the money over, you know, the fence Taylor on Spence. Taylor's. Well, I mean, you know, I wouldn't mind if somebody, you know, brought me large stacks right. of cash, but legally. Um, <laughs> legally and, only, please. And, but, <laughs> uh, you know, as, as you know, I, I just, it's just crazy, man. Like, yeah. just what people will do for attention, man. Right. It's just. The world is crazy these days. Also, Taylor is supposed to be dropping a song with Sugarland tonight. I think oh, it's wow. tonight. Yeah, so stay wow. tuned for that. For sure, it's going to be crossover. huge. Crossover. Crossover into country. <laughs> I know, it's going to be wild. So, is it, is it really a crossover or is it like a, a flashback? Flashback. Uh, maybe a little bit of both. Maybe, yeah, okay, maybe we'll just go with that. Yeah, once we hear it, we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll listen to Sounds it for good sure. To me. So, thanks everybody for tuning into Hot Topics. This is probably the last you're going to see of us on this show today we're I'm, sorry for you i mean you know it, it's just you've you've got to see us on um, you know not only one special guest but two special two. guests so you're probably you know like what might are these be getting people a little doing? tired no, of us yeah it's just like what, you what might want to see more you know i'm you know it, it's been a really interesting experience you know <laughs> trying to you know go that long distance from you know one oh, yeah. one end of the you know studio to the other man that's I need to get in shape. <laughs> <laughs> I do. We're tired. We're sweating. I really do need to get in shape. And I need to take a nap. So, <laughs> anyways, I guess that's probably where I'm going to sign off. I'm mm -hmm. going to go take a nap <laughs> while you guys get to watch our musical guest. So, thanks for watching Hot Topics, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.